integration of type. Skyline of New Orleans. How do I integrate type into something graphic? Here's one example. See? And it just feels like a poster. That's just a motion path. It's just moving it up. Okay, let me grab it. See the circus? But all of this is editable type. New York. No, wait, where are we going next year? Seattle. Seattle. Yeah, okay. So we're going there. Right? But it's all editable type. Even this type at the bottom, okay, it's got our character spacing on it. I've adjusted my line spacing so that I've got that, that tighter letting on it. And where's that tonality so that I'm not shouting with both parts of the text? There's a gradient on the text. Yeah? I've seen designers who are more competent at PowerPoint draw a box over the top of it and put a gradient over that and group it. Except they forget that actually if we go into the text options here, and I go to my fills, there's an option for gradient fill. So that's what I have on there. So it allows me to have a visual appearance, but it's still editable. I can still retain all of that control. And you can see my gradient sliders over here. And you can add a ton of these points. And we can do all of these in PowerPoint if we respect what we would traditionally do in design. All right, let's look at a few more. I'll hit play again now that I've moved that and broken it. It's going to go, yeah, there, and then, oh, no, ah. <laughs> oh, wait, it's a header now. <laughs> yeah, I can add bullets below this. <laughs> yeah, cool, man. Okay, here's another fun one. We've all seen this type of graphic made in Photoshop, yeah? What about this one? Oh, looks like a graphic, but it's not. This is text. So here's what's going on in that, okay? There is uh, two pictures. The first picture is the black road in the background. The second is the exact same picture, but I colored it yellow in Photoshop. And so in here, let's highlight this real quick. Yeah, yeah, all right, oh, format, there we go. Okay, so we're over here now. So inside this fill, just like you saw where we did the gradient earlier, I have it set to picture or texture fill. Looking at some of these other settings other than just the, pic the picture fill, like this one. This one also has a picture fill. And people sometimes get really concerned about, well, I've got to load it, and how do I do that? Actually, if you just copy a picture from the background, and when you highlight your text and you say, I want to fill uh, my text option with a picture, you can actually choose to insert it instead of from a file, you can just insert it from the clipboard, okay? And then other settings that are on here is when you start getting actually into the text effects. So on this particular case, we've got a glow on it. These are similar to layer styles inside of Photoshop, right? But it allows us to have that editability whenever we want. And if you have other elements throughout your document that you want to apply that appearance to, you can simply copy and paste the style we can use Format Painter for that.